If you're trying to learn how to get free organic traffic, then you landed on the right video because I'm going to share with you five powerful websites you could use right now to get unlimited traffic. My name is Rakeem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right, so the first traffic source we're going to be talking about is Facebook, but we're going to be talking about a side of Facebook that can get you a lot of traffic. Now, before we do that, we got to go ahead and set the foundation. That way, you know, as we get people coming in and all of that, we already set up, all right? So first thing when a person comes to your platform or your, your profile, they're going to see your cover. So this right here is my cover. And as you can see on the cover, it says entrepreneur, video marketer, servant leader. And then it has my name. It has a nice little background of me. And then it got my picture. So it's something that whenever they do decide to click over to my platform, they're going to see something that's intriguing to them. And then at that point, they can go down to the next thing, which is typically they profile pictures. So you can see right here when I click on this, boom, this is what my profile picture look like. I'm smiling, right? And that's very, very important. It's not all about how having on the suit, being all extra professional. It's not about that. It's about being you. As long as you being you, you good to go. Okay. So just make sure you at least smile though. So that way you could be, you know, a little welcoming and people like, okay, I feel like I could do business with this person. It's not somebody who just sitting there me mugging me, right? You don't want to do that. All right. So that's the profile picture. Now the next thing, and this is to me, this is actually the most important because what this does is it creates like almost like an automated funnel, right? And there's two different ways to do this. You could do it like I do it where in this intro spot, it says, I help entrepreneurs turn their video views into paying customers using YouTube. So what that does is that tells people what I do, which platform I do it for. So if that's what they want, then they gonna know right off the bat how I can help them. So that's important for you to create a statement similar to that and just put, I help whoever it is that you help. And what that's called is that's your value proposition statement. All right. All right. Now, um, down here, there's another section, which you could probably use this section right here for like, uh, testimonials or people that will work with you. Cause I'll just show you how it works. So when I click on this, you can see what it does. Welcome to my page. Don't miss out, uh, follow and set C first. So obviously Facebook has kind of changed a little bit, but you can still actually follow people. Now we're going to see if that actually works. So you can see right here, I have 3,300 followers. So 3,300 people that that are following me right now. So obviously that particular thing is continuing to work. All right. So those are the main three things that you want to set up um, before you do what I'm about to show you. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here to where it says reels. So when I click on reels, you can see that I've actually been creating like vertical short form videos that I can put on here that are driving me views. So I'm going to go all the way down to the first one that I did. So you can see the first one I did, it got 545 views. This one got 415, 438. 600 230 and then you can see you know the numbers were starting to go up and up and up right now this doesn't always have to be you on video meaning your face don't always have to be showing and i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about so obviously all of these right here you can see my face but you can see right here this one got 538 views and i actually didn't even use my voice if you're a content creator that runs a business stop trying to go viral on youtube okay so let me stop that so what that is that is my voice but I, I created an AI voice. And then what I did was I put together like, you know, some copy or a script or whatever I wanted to put together. And then I put that into a software and then I put my picture on the screen and then I did a little, you know, the little waveform thing. So now you can see that I'm talking. So that didn't require me to have my face, right? It didn't even require me to have my voice like recording at that time because I've been did that AI voice quite a while ago, right? So some super powerful stuff that you could do. And you can see it's actually performing. So 25, uh, likes, uh, nine comments, somebody even shared this, right? So I'm actually getting traffic from somebody else's audience. And then if I go over here to the other one that I did, that's just like that. Here's why quantity beats quality for content creators. Now I know it can be easy to obsess over making every piece of content. Okay, so it's somewhat sound like with me. It's not like perfect, but I'm continuing to train that voice more and more. All right, so that's definitely something that you could do. And all of them, you could see this one performed as well. So we got 20 and then we got 11 comments and then somebody also shared this one as well, right? So you can see, you don't always have to have your voice with these, but you can see if I go back over here to my home page, let me show what I'm talking about. If I click on reels, you can see these can drive a ton of views. This one got 1.3 million. This one got almost a half a million views. This one got 700,000 views, 282,000 views, and so on and so on, right? So you could drive a ton of traffic with just this side of Facebook, right? Obviously you got Facebook groups, you got regular posts and all of that, but you definitely want to make sure you got those first three things that I talked about set up. All right. So the next traffic source we're going 
gonna be talking about is called Quora. So Quora is a question and answer platform where you can literally answer specific questions for your target audience, which is very, very powerful. It leverages the search engine so your stuff can show up on Google. And then also you can have passive traffic. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this right here, I got 80,000 content views and then I got 862 content views this month. Now keep in mind, I haven't answered a question since December 28th, but I still, every single month, I'm getting passive traffic. So that's whether I send somebody over to a YouTube video or I send somebody over to a lead magnet specifically, right? Cause you definitely want to be growing your list. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set up your foundation because that is important. Notice we did that on Facebook as well. You always want to do that before you actually get people coming in in drones or whatever, you know, how, however, you know, consistently they're coming in. All right. So now you can see right here, I got my profile picture. I got my name. I got what it is that I help people with now right here, YouTube SEO specialist, digital marketer, servant leader. And then once again, that I help statement, I help content creators grow their audience and income using online video. And then boom, there's my lead magnet. Click here to get my free six part video training course. And then you can put a phone number if you would like, because you know, sometimes when people are looking, they're like, oh man, this person got a phone number. Let me actually hit them up. Right? If that's what you want, if you want your business to kind of flow like that. All right. So now how do you actually get traffic on this platform? So I'm going to show you the most efficient way. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the home page. I'm going to then go right here, click on my picture, and then I'm going to go right here to where it says ad manager. All right. Now, when I come in here and go to ads manager, we're not about to run no ads, but I just want to show you something that you could use so you can know how much people actually care about the question that you're going to be answering because you actually want to get traffic so i'm gonna go right here hit new campaign i'm gonna click traffic here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna just put 25 dollars for now and then i'm gonna go ahead and click on the continue button over here okay so now what we want to do is we want to come down here and then i'm gonna go ahead and click on questions i'm gonna then type in my target audience here but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and click on bulk ad i'm gonna then come right here and i'm gonna type something in so what i'm gonna type in is i'm gonna just type marketing in and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit continue okay now when i hit continue what it shows me is the question and then it shows me the weekly views so which is the best digital marketing institute to in Delhi, 2,000 to 2,500 views every single week. That's crazy, right? Uh, what are some of the greatest marketing disasters in history? 1,000 to 1,500. So you can see already the power in this. You know that you're not going to be answering a question that nobody don't care about. This is why I feel like this is the most efficient way for you to do this because you literally leverage in the platform of Quora, their ad platform, using the data and say, okay, I'm going to answer only those questions that, that are going to get me the visibility that I want. Whether you're taking people to a YouTube video or you're taking people specifically to your lead magnet to where you capture in the lead and then you go on from there now what i would recommend is you send people to a page that has content on it first and then on that specific page you then want to have a way that they can become a lead instead of just sending them straight to a capture page or something like that all right all right and then i would just hit uh back and then i would go into another lane in that specific niche and i would just keep answering questions now another thing about this platform is the fact that it's direct connect and what I mean by that is just like on Facebook, how you can message somebody, like if they see your reel or whatever, and they're like, oh man, I like this person, man. Let me, let me reach out to this person, ask them what it is that they do to see how they can help me. You can actually have a direct communication with them by just going to messenger. Now on here, you have the exact same thing. And this is actually something newer because they didn't have this because I've been on this platform for a very long time. They now have a message box. So if I go ahead and click right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click back over the core itself. Let me see if I can go from here. Okay, so I can't go from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like, like this go to Cora and then down here at the bottom let me move me up to the top you see right here it says message box so if I want to message somebody I can click on new message and then I could type in a name so let me just type in an R and let's see what shows up so you see I can go ahead and message this person and then from there let's say they have a little bit more questions you know about the lead matter or whatever it is that they want to ask a question about now they can actually have a conversation with me and that builds the relationship even more so let's go ahead and move on to the next one all right so the next traffic source is called TikTok. So TikTok, you can actually go viral on TikTok. But the question might be, do you actually even want to go viral? Because let's imagine you get a video on here that goes viral, but you make not a single sale from that video. You probably not going to feel that great, right? So the goal on here is to actually make sure that you going after to topics that your specific target audience would actually be caring about. All right. So first thing we're going to do before we even go into showing you how to get traffic on here, I'm going to show you how to set up your foundation. All right. So I'm going to go over here, click 
click on profile and then as you can see it's very similar to my Facebook so boom we got a uh, picture got my name and then we got right here I help entrepreneurs turn their video views into paying customers using YouTube so once again we got our value proposition just keep in mind every platform that I show you in this video that I've showed you even so far those are all going to require for you to set up your foundation for you can make things make things you know kind of flow smoother all right so now let's actually go down I'm gonna show you a couple of my videos let me move me up here real quick and then right here you can see right this video has 233 views to 225 173 258 this one got 1331 235 so some obviously some videos are gonna get way more traction than others but as long as you speak into your target audience and you're not just like super focused on trying to go viral or anything then then you'll be good and then there's gonna be some that you might get like like this one right here I got 54 views on that I'm, that's not nothing I'm gonna be sitting here whining about or making excuses about all right I got 54 views all right we're gonna create some more content that's gonna get more than 54 views as long as those 54 views are my target audience I'm good to go right so that's that's the kind of mindset you want to have on that all right so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring me back down and I'm gonna show you how to actually get traffic on here now what I like about TikTok and another platform I'm gonna show you is similar to this um, is that they have a built-in search engine so what I could do is I could say okay let's say for instance I want to get traffic and get in front of my target audience I might type how to and then I want to see what pops up so you can see how to lucid dream how to make money how to be famous on TikTok. so these are all of the things that people want to know right here so you don't really have to play the guessing game now this is where you want to get a little bit more specific so you might want to say uh, let's say for instance you in gardening right you teach people how to do their gardening better so I might type garden and then i'm gonna just sit back wait for it to tell me what people care about all right so how to garden for beginners how to garden properly how to garden how to garden a mushroom and broccoli so you can see that's very very specific so let's go ahead and click on how to garden for beginners and let's see the content that shows up and the traction it got so right here you can see right here this video got 1.1 million views this one got 1.8 million views 91,000 views this one got 132,000 views so you can see they're just including certain keywords uh, inside of their title but I'm sure that they doing the keyword research like I'm showing you here so when I click that you can see what happens how to start gardening for beginners how to flower gardening for beginners how to longboard for beginners so if I click that let's see what they got let's see if they got a lot of traction going on here 205,000 views and look how to longboard for beginners they literally just put the keyword in there and that's how they're getting their traffic and of course they're probably using uh, hashtags as well like you know gardening hashtags Tags, things that are relevant and that's what's bringing them to traffic and as long as they got like you know whether they're doing some type of an affiliate marketing or they're building their list or they got like you know their own product product or whatever it is or them booking a call as long as they have that position on their profile let me go back real quick so I can show you as long as they they you know got that right there they're gonna be good to go and just make sure that you set that business up a business account up so that way you can actually put a link here now if you're trying to uh, link uh to a story i think you gotta have like ten thousand subscribers to be able to do that but as far as linking in this uh bio then all you need is your business account all right so the next traffic source is instagram so with instagram you're gonna notice it's gonna be like a feed of videos as i go through right so let me just show you what i'm talking about so obviously this is right this one right here is my video but if i keep scrolling down you can see boom we got a reel right here then we got another reel, another reel, another reel, right? So you can see a lot of these platforms are moving towards video because they can see that there's a lot of power when it comes to doing video, okay? So now, how do you actually get traffic on this? So first things first, this is really based on hashtags and then also a little bit of search engine. It's like a mini search engine. It's no comparison to what I just showed you with TikTok and it's not gonna be comparison to what I show you with the next platform. So if I come over here and I click on search, what I can do is, let me just show you the mini search engine I'm talking about so I'm gonna hit how to and I'm gonna just sit back and let it let it show me some stuff so you can see it says how to crochet how to braid how to dress how to paint how to drink and how to sew but if I try to get more specific it's not gonna let me do that all it's gonna do is show me profiles that have what I'm talking about in there right so you can see these are different profiles now another thing that I could do which is a lot more powerful on this platform is hashtag so I'm gonna hit a hashtag right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type garden 
gardening. So I'm gonna put garden. And then now you can see this one right here, 75 million posts. Uh, for that one, garden design got 5 million posts. So you basically wanna look at, you know, what they got in regards to hashtags and any post that you do, whether it's a real or it's like just a regular post where it's like a picture or whatever. And you just wanna make sure you got the right hashtags to attract the right people, okay? So that's what you wanna do there. So let me take you over to my profile real quick uh, so you can kind of see what's going on over there. Now you're gonna notice that I am still using the same framework when it comes to doing like, you know, setting up your foundation. So obviously I got the picture here, I got the name here, and then I got right here, I got we help you grow an audience and income using the power of online video. And then right under that, I got my lead magnet, which is very, very important when it comes to building a list. Okay, so now let's take a look at the reels. So I'm gonna click on reels. And then as you can see, just like I said earlier with the other platforms, some videos gonna get more than the others. So we got 188 views here, 578 views here, almost 7,000 views on this one, 3,700 views on this one. And if we go down, we can see right here, this one has 36,000 views on that one. So what you wanna do when you start to get some of these videos that do that, you wanna look at what is it that I did in that video that made people just really respond well to it. And then once you, what you wanna do is you just wanna write that stuff down and then focus on doing that in each of the rest of your videos. So this one got 2,500, this 6,000. Um, the first one I did have 3,400 right there, right? So just like I said earlier, just look at it. Okay, model. Okay, keep doing it like that. And then as you learn new things, just go from there. All right, so this next traffic source is YouTube. So YouTube is actually my favorite. And the reason why is because you're able to leverage two big platforms that get a lot of traffic. First off, Google owns YouTube. And when you rank YouTube videos, they can rank on YouTube and they can also rank on Google, which is very, very powerful. Now you also got the short form videos as well. So right here, if I go ahead and click right here to where it says shorts, you're gonna see all the short form videos I did. You can see 200 views there, 1,000 views there, 800 views there, and then some like I said, some do better than others. Okay. So it's all about just getting the traffic over to the channel in this particular case, and then actually having them see your other content. And then as they continue to go, either they're going to like you or they're not going to like you, right? It's just, you know, you just got to get past people not liking you. Cause they, you know, we, <laughs> we in a world where, you know, sometimes people just don't. All right. So now if I go ahead and click on videos, let's go back to videos. So now let me show you how you can actually get some traffic on this platform. So let me go ahead and click on popular and I'm going to go to my most popular videos and we're going to use one of those to show you. So right here it says this video is called how to add a payment gateway to your website. And you can see it got 18,000 views in six months. So let me actually go over here to an incognito browser and I'm going to type that in, but I'm not going to type the whole thing in. I'm going to type it in enough to show you that this is something that people care about. And that's the type of content you want to create. So I'm going to type how to add a payment, right? I'm going to just stop right there. So you can see how to add a payment method. Let me go ahead and just finish at least to the gateway. All right. So here we go. So how to add a payment gateway to your website and then we got all of these different things that people actually care about we never want to do videos that people don't care about all right so now right here it says how to add a payment gateway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this now keep in mind we in incognito mode so that means that the results that you see are extremely accurate all right so let me go down here real quick these are all ads so they don't count but then right here you can see that my video is the top video for this particular search term and you can see my other video from two years ago is up there at the top as well so both of these videos are getting a ton of traffic right now, right? So what is it that I'm really doing here? I'm making sure I position my videos up at the top by including the keyword. So you can see I got the exact keyword, how to add a payment gateway to your website. You put that in front, that gives you more relevance. And if you weren't uh, aware, YouTube ranks videos on relevance. So if I click on filters and I go right here, sort by, notice I didn't click relevance, it's already on relevance. So that means that if I got my keyword in the front, there's a high chance that I'm a rank. Unless, of course, your channel don't really have that much authority in some cases. And it's not all about subscribers or even views, because sometimes I'll outrank people who have way more views than I do and even more subscribers than I do. It's all about do you understand how to position your videos up at the top and really have your stuff optimized in a way that you just, you know, you go over some of the people that have a lot more authority. All right. So I'm going to type in another one real quick. So I'm going to type best affiliate tracking. OK, so you see how it popped up, right? We always want to make sure it pops up. So I'm going to click on best affiliate tracking software. So when we go down, 
boom, you can see my video is at the top, right? From five months ago, I got almost 2,000 views on that video. And then I'm going to just go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and mute it. All right, so I mute that real quick. And then once it comes on, I'm going to just go ahead and pause it. All right, so skip ad and pause. All right, so what is it that you want to do? Obviously, you want to get traffic to your affiliate links. So you can see right here, if I hit show more, you can see I got, you know, just the title right up at the top. And then right here, I got my affiliate link. So they can try Click Magic free for 14 days. So when they click on that if they got value from the video they see they seem like it's something that they can use then nine times out of ten they click that link they take the free trial and then after 14 days then i'll get a commission which it has been working very very well right at this point i think i made it almost 800 dollars with click magic um, at this particular time and obviously this video is ranking so it's going to continue to bring in sales so this is my strategy for every single video i do if i know that the intent for the video is to sell a product then i'm going to position that video structure it and then make sure that I include a relevant call to action. And when I say that relevant call to action, I want to make sure that I say it with confidence and make sure I say it verbally and also put it on the screen. So that way it kind of gets them to do what you want them to do. Hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to learn my number one recommended traffic source, which is the one that you're watching me on right now and how I've driven millions of views across multiple channels, definitely go ahead and use that first link down below in the description. That's going to take you through my six part video training course and each and every day you're going to receive an email every day a new email come you watch it go take action and then you're going to be good to go look forward to seeing you in the next video peace